Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to West Farthing Woodworks, the fun side of woodworking. Today I want to show you, take just a couple minutes and I want to show you about a project that I made a little while ago that I have up on the website. And it's this little tea light candle holder. Um, I'm not using tea lights in this example. I kind of like using these little, little pillar candles. Um, but this is a quick and easy project. Uh, you can change the size however you like. There's a full tutorial on the website, which you can see in the description. There's a link there below. You can click on that. It'll take you to the tutorial. But this is a really simple project. What was a lot of fun about this was that I got to use a wire wheel to put this texture on the piece of wood. And you can see that texture goes all the way around on the sides and over through the top. And what I did was I have a wire wheel and I spun it. You can do that on the drill, you can do it on the lathe. And when you run it along the wood with the grain, it simulates age. It pulls out you know, some of the softer wood and leaves some of the harder areas behind. And depending on how hard you press or how soft you do it, you can kind of vary the effect. But this one I did fairly evenly all the way across. And then what that allows you to do, because now there's a difference in the surface, it allows you to do something called a contrast stain. So the first thing I did was I stained this thing very, very, very dark brown, the entire piece. Then I came back and I sanded it after it dried. So it almost looked like dark brown or black with these white areas, you know, kind of all over it and white streaks. That's where the high spots were. Basically what I did is remove the stain from those areas, but it left it down in all the cracks and the deep spots. After that, I came back with this kind of a brownish orange, almost burnt looking kind of color stain and that stained the areas that were lighter. So there you get that contrast effect. You get the dark in the valleys and you get the lighter color on the peaks. Um, it's a really easy process. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you can get a wire wheel just about anywhere. Most uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, most of the hardware stores carry it. But really quick, easy project. You know, I threw a couple of little candles on it and ended up putting it on the kitchen table. So thank you for coming and visiting West Farthing Woodworks again. Um, take a look again below in the description. The URL's down there. You can click on that. And there's a full tutorial with pictures and everything on the website. Um, thank you again and happy building.